you can see the crowd. It's not a long climb, only 1.3 miles, 2.2K, but it is steep. Very we can steep. see the wind just coming again from the left-hand side, but the crowd's out in their hundreds. Jonathan Tin and Locke then decides he's going to go to the head of the contest here. 27 seconds behind overall in 12th position, and now he really does look good. He danced on the pedals on the major climbs at in the Tour of Britain 12 months ago, we saw him take the King of the Mountains and finish fifth overall, and he's gone on to improve on that ride by underlining some superb performances earlier this season, and now he's reflecting the class that we've said he's got. Five minutes and eight seconds now back to the group that contains Mark Cavendish. Massive amount of damage done on this gun hill here. 30 kilometres to go now to the finish here in Stoke. How many riders are going to come in together? Well, it's certainly not going to come down to a bunch sprint, that is for sure. The overall general classification completely turned upside down here. And the key players overnight, that's Mark Cavendish and Lee Howard at the moment, are being blown totally away. But the man that's dominating it here is Jonathan Tiernan Locke. He's getting a huge ovation as he goes over the top of Gun Hill. First, then Jonathan Tiernan Locke. He gets 10 points, but he's not bothered about that. He's more interested in trying to take the overall now he's going to settle down for the 30 kilometers that is between him and the finishing line he'll wait for company and then they'll start to get together and work consistently but he really does look good rob he does and we can see the sky rider there christian knees he's starting to take up that strain take up the pressure and try and ride this group back this splinter group that's gone off the front he really does need to stay up there team sky have lost everything else today. He is their only card to play. Paul Voss yet again on the front as we go past the crowds here. Out again, the schools let out of lessons to see this race pass through. There's a crash, they've overcooked the corner there. Two riders have gone down. One is Mark Demar. Mark Demar at the back and he's got one of the riders with him from Saint-Chasson and he's not very happy. He just pushed the bike away. So that's two riders then after all that hard work are now out of it. So they've got a lot of work to do to try and get back up. That looks like Galan to me. It's Galan and the way he's looking, it's collarbone. Yeah, he's saying Casse. Look, Lavicol, you can see the riders have just gone on. It was actually looked like uh, the Endura racing rider, Paul Voss, who went straight on through the crowd and a couple of riders followed him. All the riders looking at each other. Attack after attack. This is a big group, so they're not going to be happy to work together. Everybody wants to win this. They're looking for the opportunity to give the rest of the group the uh, slip. There's the big rangy fella of Sepp van Mark in second position. Remember, Sepp van Mark was the man that tried to win that stage into Dumfries. Lee Howard also in this group. Now then, they ease back again. It's a little bit like a, a tactic on the track, this, isn't it? Somebody jumps away and then the move is checked. It's chess on wheels here. Somebody makes a move and then there's a reaction and the move is cancelled out. Now then, this looks more promising, seven kilometres to go. And uh, the rider from Garmin Sharp is being given an opportunity, but a reaction immediately then from the rider from Sao Chazon as he's bringing them back together. Yeah, the rider here, Garmin Sharp, really, really doing some damage, but everybody in the wheels, they're not letting anybody go clear just yet. Mark Demar having a go. Well, he was on the deck, wasn't he? So he's done well to bridge and get back to the group, and it's Mark Demar trying to go away. Yes, and uh, Paul Voss as well is back there. So there must have been a little bit of a arrest with the riders at front, and they've allowed these riders who went off on that right-hander to come back and get back into contention. Mark DeMar trying to go away here now then. There's no problem, but he wouldn't affect the overall situation because he's 78 to 12 minutes and 48 seconds. So this is a great opportunity for the rider clear now. Mark DeMar looking very strong here as he tries to distance himself from the breakaway. He's riding for the United Healthcare. Well, it is a very, very brave effort here as this spellbinding action continues. It's been a phenomenal stage, encrusted with drama and uh, breaks that have developed and uh, evaporated 